And breaking now, a local doctor regains consciousness after he was shot near the mosque where he prayed. This story starting to get national attention and now members of that mosque are speaking out about the case and what they believe may have led to that shooting. Good evening, I'm Jonathan Martinez. And I'm Sion Rhodes. A news conference happened just in the past hour. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez live outside the mosque with what members had to say tonight. Kathy? Good evening, Sion. The leaders of this mosque tell us the victim is still in ICU, but he is conscious now. And they tell us that that bullet actually missed his vital organs, so they are so thankful for that. And they say that he's expected to recover very soon. The victim is Arslan Tajamul. He's a well-respected optometrist and active in the Muslim community. Leaders tell us the doctor said he was helping someone in a wheelchair to the mosque on Bintliff for morning prayer Sunday. He told them a man in a van drove up, got out, and demanded his belongings. The doctor handed over his wallet, but the robber still shot him. Tajmal made it to the mosque where paramedics took him to the hospital. I believe that there was an essence of hate crime. Yes, there was robbery, but I also believe that there was an essence of hate crime is because the person could have stole it and left. But Dr. Ursulan was dressed in an Islamic attire in the morning. He was dressed in, 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 a, in a visually different attire. I believe that prompted, my, my, that is my thought, and what we are hearing around, that that made that person see this person in this clothes and said, let me shoot this person. Otherwise, he had no motive. He had the wallet. He had what he needed, and he didn't need to pull the trigger. And since that shooting, mosque leaders and the Houston Police Department have really increased security in this area as more people arrive here for prayers and a celebration of Ramadan. Now, we want to be clear that HPD has said they're investigating this as a robbery and not a hate crime. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.